Hello everyone, I'm Jensen. Thanks for joining me yet again for some really late afternoon tea. Uh, I've got a couple stories I want to touch on before we dive deep into our main story for this episode. But of course, before we do any of that, let me show you what I'm munching on. I'm still working on my Oreo truffles I made last week, which look pretty impressive, but are super easy to make. And today I'm sipping on the Mexicali Mocha from Lowrider Cafe. So if you love spice and you love chocolate, this is right up your alley. But enough of that, let's get into the news. Target has just joined Walmart and the list of stores set to close on Thanksgiving, giving retail workers a chance to finally spend a holiday with their folks instead of your Uncle Dave making a last minute beer run. Move also delays the start of Black Friday deals that for some reason or another in recent years have started on Thursday, you know, when we are supposed to be busy giving thanks. And look, all right, I get it. Sitting at the kids' table into your late 20s while watching your boogery cousins fight over a happy and turkey leg can be demoralizing, but you only see them once a year, so suck it up for a few hours, and then you can go find another grown woman in a checkout line bright and early the next morning. <sighs> Getting back to tradition. And switching gears a little bit here, agents from the Ohio Investigative Unit cited two put in bay restaurants over the weekend after receiving complaints that they were violating health orders put in place to fight the spread of COVID-19. These cases will go before the Ohio Liquor Control Commission for potential penalties like fines or the suspension of liquor permits. So who was cited and why? Ms. Barr was cited for disorderly activity. Agents said they saw customers standing and congregating with no social distancing measures in place around both the bar and swim-up bar, as well as in the pool. TNJ Smokehouse was also cited for disorderly activity. People were apparently in large groups with most choosing not to wear masks. The outside patio was packed with people shoulder to shoulder on the dance floor. Security staff was seen with masks around their necks, which spoiler alert, doesn't count, as they checked the IDs of a long line of people waiting to head inside and get their groove on. But while yes, there were these citations and a number of other warnings issued over the weekend, agents have continued to say that most bar and restaurant owners have been found in compliance. But let's move on to our main story for the episode. What's the deal with our stimulus checks? Will there be another round? Because Mitch better have my money. You know, like McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader. I'm cool. Now to be abundantly clear, so far no bill has been passed that would guarantee another round of checks. However, big shot government officials and lawmakers have said that more of these funds in some way, shape, or form will be headed to our bank accounts. House Stems approved their version back in May, and Republicans are set to roll out their proposal today. So far, here's what we know about what they'll be presenting. On Saturday, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said the goal is to have another round of $1,200 checks come out in August. Mnuchin said that these checks would be based on the same formula as the last bill, meaning people making $75K or less would receive the full 12 hundo, and those making more would start to receive less aid, capping at those who make $100,000 a year. And instead of the extra $600 on top of state unemployment, Mnuchin said that they are instead pushing for something that pays people about 70% wage replacement with the hopes that change would incentivize getting back into the workforce. But time is of the essence because the Senate has another month-long recess coming up with their last day in session on August 7th. That means Congress will have less than two weeks to discuss, negotiate, and pass another stimulus package. If they can't manage to come to some sort of agreement by then, lawmakers will have to wait until after Labor Day for another shot at passing a second relief bill. But many Americans feel they can't wait that long. Federal jobless benefits officially expire July 31st, and other aid, including a federal eviction moratorium on millions of rental units, also expires at month's end. Plus, some haven't even seen their first check yet, but checks will continue to be sent through September. Time certainly is ticking and the path ahead remains uncertain, but both sides seem to be scrambling to reach an agreement. And Mitch McConnell said on Friday that he hopes he'll get a deal together sometime in the next few weeks. But that is all I have for you today. If you need more information on the topics we discussed, I have that in a link in the description of this video, including the recipe for my Oreo truffles, which turned out amazing. But if you like this and you want to keep on sipping tea with me, you got to hit like, you got to hit subscribe, you know the drill. But with all of that being said, I hope you get out there, make informed decisions, and I'll see you next time.